Webways, the pathway to family wellness. Diabetes is now one of the most common non-communicable diseases globally. 382 million people have diabetes. Approximately 5.1 million people aged between 20 and 79 years died from diabetes in 2013. It is estimated that 592 million people will have diabetes by year 2035. Out of this number, 1.7 million are currently afflicted with this scourge in Nigeria. And it is expected to rise, or uh, let me say it's continuing, it's rising by the day. So many legs are being amputated on the surgeon's table almost on a daily basis. So many people are going blind due to retinopathy, and so on and so forth. The World Diabetes Day was marked in Nigeria this week. Shabbat Shalom. That's going to be what we are going to be looking at today. Despite all these campaigns, what has been the situation? Are people really eating the warning? Are people actually eating normally? Um, and shall we say that the provision of so many food outlets in the country is really helping matters? A situation where people are, you know, deviating from the normal eating norms and they are encouraging uh, forms of feeding that is alien to their system. What are going to be likely, the likely fallout? So those are what we are going to be examining today. Shabbat Shalom and welcome. This is Habways under a segment called Abs and Therapeutics, the only program on TV that is promoting the tenants, tenants of natural medicine, which some people want wants to call complementary alternative medicine or herbal medicine. Before then, let's look at what has happened in the week. The issue of people using insecticide to preserve beans is still ranging, and a lot of people have been talking. The minister in charge of agriculture have this to say, and that is Chief Audu Ogbe. The minister of agriculture and rural development, Chief Audu Ogbe, expressed the displeasure over the use of chemicals for food preservation and fruit ripening. Ogbe said in an interview with journalists in Otupo, Benue, that the act was detrimental to human health and the environment. A particular substance which I'm not going to name, which you all know, is very dangerous. People also use carbide to ripen bananas and some other fruits. People do all kinds of things. I'm sure this is not strange to those of you who are very close to big, big markets, the way people preserve banana, tomatoes, and the rest of them. Suddenly, people are developing different diseases. Sometimes it's wrong. He said, in reaction to the reported use of 2.2 dichlorovinyl dimethyl phosphate, otherwise marketed as known as, I, won't, I don't want to mention the name, but you know the name, to preserve beans by retailers. He appealed to food stuff and fruit sellers and other Nigerians to adopt natural means of preservation. The minister said that the ministry will collaborate with the National Orientation Agency to create more awareness on the need for citizens not to use chemicals for food preservation and fruit ripening. So by virtue of this, this is what is actually happening. And NAVDAC too have this to say. NAVDAC one citizen against eating and buying food stuff, preserve or ripening with chemicals. NAVDAC also advised that the sale of grains or being suspected to be preserved with chemicals to be reported to the agency. And I think everybody has responsibility here. The use of insecticide to preserve beans has gone viral on social media. So because of this, people have been advised to uh, always wash their food items before cooking. That is very important. Some people said they should even soak it. Some people advise that the beans should be parboiled. Whichever way you can do it. You don't want to have a case whereby we'll, if you, before you go to the market and buy beans, you have to see your prophet or you have to go into your, um, you have to consult, you have to make some consultations. I don't know how to put it, you know, but it is very, very wrong if we engage in this kind of act. It is now a worrisome dimension. 
So, so we want to discuss diabetes today. And I have with me in the studio um, a nutritionist and a diabetes coach. It's also the person, the person in charge of Diabetes Control Center in Lagos. I am going to bring in him after the timeout. But before we go for this timeout, let me also remind you that those of you at home who are watching this program, um, WAP TV is on WAP TV because many people always ask me, I will say, what a dumb question. People will ask me, where can we see this program on TV? I say, ah, if you say you don't know WAP TV, then I am wondering if you are not alien in this country. WAP TV is a very popular brand. People are seeing this program on YouTube. They are watching it from different platforms on GoTV, DSTV, and so on and so forth. So, and this is the only program on TV that is promoting the tenets of complementary medicine, the program that has changed so many lives. So that is how it's going to be on this segment. When we come back, we shall really go into diabetes. So if your situation is diabetic or you are diabetic or you are, you do, you are not even diabetic, there are certain habits that are inimical to you contacting this very dreaded disease. So why don't you stay tuned? So when we come back on this, on the next segment, we are going to be doing justice to this. I mean, it's going to be interactive. So people at home, this is your show. This is our show. We are going to do it together. Diabetes, like I said, is a dreaded disease. It's a non-communicable disease. But a lot of people have been hearing diabetes, diabetes. So I have an expert in the house today. His name is Solomon Mbam. He's a nutritionist. He's a diabetic coach. He's the person in charge of diabetic uh, center in Lagos. Um, Solomon Mbam, you are welcome to this program. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here with you. A lot of people are hearing diabetes, diabetes in a simple term. What is diabetes? Simple term. Okay. Um, diabetes is um, a metabolic disorder. Yes. Allow me to use that word. It's a metabolic disorder that is characterized by high level of sugar in the blood. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you have high level of sugar in the blood, um, that is termed uh, for the layman diabetes. Okay. Now, you are the person in charge of diabetic support center. Support center. They, yeah. I think that's the language. Yeah. What is the function of this center? Okay, um, the Diabetes Support Center um, is a center set aside um, for um, people who want to learn how to prevent diabetes and people who have diabetes so as to manage and um, control their condition effectively. Again, it goes beyond that. We, there's also a component where there's outreach, mm -hmm. okay? We go for outreaches from this center so that we can reach out to those in the um, community. Um, we would also um, let them know more about diabetes and also give them the opportunity of having themselves screened, mm. okay, screened, and so they can be able to detect if they have diabetes or um, invariably know their um, state at every point in time. In view of the statistics that was just reeled out, can you imagine a whopping number of 380 million people have diabetes worldwide? And we have 1.7 million living in this country. What is your center doing in this regard to be able to curtail this figure from rising? Okay. Um, truly speaking, um, you asked a good question. Um, it's, it's a gloomy um, projection we are having here, especially when we begin to hear um, what will happen in the um, near future. Mm -hmm. Like we're hearing that um, in um, 2035, uh, we'll be having 4.4 um, million adults mm. in Nigeria having diabetes. Mm. Currently, we have 1.7, as you mm -hmm. mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, it's, it's something that I want to um, talk about in this light. If we, in our individual units, mm. don't um, stand up, Hmm. and begin to educate people and teach people the necessary steps hmm. to take to hmm. prevent diabetes, hmm. then nothing will happen. Hmm. So in our own little um, sector, mm -hmm. what we do is we go out, like I mentioned earlier, we give education. Uh, we also make sure that people have access to um, um, equipment. How much support you get from government and from... Uh, Organization like the NOA, National Registration Agency, how much support do you get from these people? Currently, um, in my own side, we don't, we don't get support from them. We get from private um, sectors. What would you advise government to do in this regard? We want government to look into it um, because we find out that 
the cost of um, providing treatment for diabetes is on the high, and we have a lot of poor people because we are in the yes. um, low and middle income community. Hmm. So, I, you know, when it comes to the import duty or most of all these medications mm -hmm. they use hmm. to treat themselves, we find out that when they come back to us here, that's the pharmacies and outlets mm -hmm. where they can purchase them, we find out that the cost of purchasing it from those retailers go high. Hmm. So if there's any way they can slash off these import duties that they place on these drugs hmm. and the medications they use, um, it will really help a lot. Now, let me ask you, people watching us at home, I've been discussing with Solomon Bam, he's a nutritionist and diabetes educator. Please, this is an interactive program. People at home, you can call in and ask him questions. That's why WAP TV has brought him here because uh, to celebrate the Diabetes Day, which was marked in Nigeria, I think Thursday. Yes, yes. On, on Wednesday, on, on, the, Wednesday. on the 14th of um, November. Yes, it was marked all over the world. Exactly. You know, and there are a couple of uh, programs in your own area, debate, symposium, yes, road yes. shows. To walk, walk, diabetic walks, mm -hmm. as well as free screening activities that was carrying out um, in the community and at Egbe. That is where I'm even going. What and what and what should somebody do to start suspecting maybe... I'm beginning to feel if I'm diabetic. Okay, okay. I think you're trying to talk about the signs. Yes, of yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, signs of diabetes, um, they range from um, excessive thirst. That's so when you start feeling thirsty. Longing to take water. Yeah, longing to take water. And this is different from the regular, I like to drink water habits yeah. that people have now. Mm -hmm. It's a feeling of uh, having a dry throat. Just after drinking a cup or bottle of water, you start feeling having a dry throat again. That's one excessive test, mm -hmm. um, excessive urination. Mm -hmm. It's not just going to urinate when you're in a cold weather. We're talking about when you sleep before you wake up. The individual goes to urinate for like two, three, four times at night. It becomes mm -hmm. alarming. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have issues of having blood vision, not seeing clearly, as though you've got a um, um, something like a film in front of your eyes. Mm. Okay, you have issues like loss of weight, unexplained loss of weight. Mm. Okay. That is also a case. You have issues of like um, um, lack of energy. I mm. like using that word. When mm. you are weak, you are tired for no just cause. Even after consumption of food, you still have that. Um, you also have issues like um, funny sensations on the leg. Funny mm. sensation ranging from tingling. We have things like swelling. We have um, even numbness. Mm. Yes, that's also a scary one. And if nothing is done, in a, if nothing is done about these symptoms that I've mentioned, mm. it can lead to life-threatening complications. So what are the kinds of uh, uh, diagnostic skills available okay, in, in diabetes? What are these type of tests that one can run? Okay, good. From your own experience. All right, uh, good. Um, um, diagnostic tests um, for diabetes, we have the um, simple sugar test, okay. the one we use to, um, with the glucometer mm -hmm. to check the blood sugar level. Mm -hmm. Okay, we also have um, um, the bio, um, okay, I'll talk about the HbA1c test. Yes, the HbA1c, that also is used to check the blood okay. sugar level. I want to take you up time. on this one. Um, when you are doing your road shows, free, free test, people say, re the public response, what, what does it look like? Um, wonderful, amazing. They are always very surprised to know that um, something of that nature is happening, where you have free um, services reaching out um, to them. So um, their response, the turnout is usually very massive. The hmm. last time we had over like 425 hmm. people Hmm. that were screened for free. Hmm. Uh, the statistics, um, we had 28 of them were significant hmm. in the community. So I think this is a very, very, very good, is a very good Okay, the next question I'm going to ask you is, quite a number of people, they have the instrument called glucometer at home to yes. check their um, blood, sugar, blood sugar, level. sugar level. What are the ranges that one can now start getting agitated? Okay, okay. Um, we have... Um, two simple sugar tests, two types of simple sugar tests. The first one is the fasting blood sugar level. For a healthy individual, mm -hmm. it should be between 70 to 110. Which one is the high? Which one milligram is the Milligram per DL. Which one is the high? Which one is the up? 70 is the to lower part. It should be between 70 to 110. Okay. It's a range, actually, okay. for the okay. fasting blood sugar. So okay. anything above 110 mm -hmm. is a sign that the individual uh, may have diabetes, you need another complementary test to know, and it shouldn't go below 70. Okay. Then we have a two hours test after food, two hours after your food. That one is called the random blood sugar test. Hmm. It shouldn't be more than 145 milligram per DL after food. You are a nutritionist. Yes. What role does nutrition play 
to curtail the scourge of diabetics? Or how will you advise the public to feed properly? In Web TV, we have um, what we call the 10 bad foods, which may not be good for, which One's may not health. be good for. But in, in someone, for someone not to be diabetic or someone who is prone to diabetes, what are kind of food? We have our first caller from Lagos, Afan from Lagos. Good afternoon, Afan. Good afternoon. Which part of Lagos are you calling from? No, my name is Akan. A T H A. It's all right. It's all right. Which part of Lagos are you calling from? Yeah, I'm calling from Lagos. Please make your contribution. Yeah, I want to ask the doctor a question. Okay. Um, what he talked about urinating. Yes. Uh, what of someone who's on uh, anti hypertensive drug like all this uh, drug? And find that you take after taking that drug, you go and you you urinate like. It's all right. Like, Three, four times before. Okay. Uh, okay. Before the day break. It's all right. Please answer that. Okay. Um, Someone who is on anti hypertensive drug, um, one of the side effects should be to pass yes, plenty of fluid. During, uh, regularly. It's asking if such one is prone to uh, so be diabetic. Far, no, yes. The, the the signs of that's a sign. Like I said, the signs of diabetes does not just stand alone. After you see the signs, you have to do a confirmatory test. You do a test to confirm if it's diabetes or not. So if you're having excessive urination and you do a test and it does not show that you have high blood sugar, then mm. it's not related to diabetes. Okay. Yes, it's just a side effect of the medication you're taking. Now, let's talk about nutrition because nutrition is very, very key. What kind of... Um, I, I'm talking about the, the feeding habits of Nigerians. These days yeah. when the civilization era, so many fast food here and there, and, you know, would you say it's probably part of the reasons why we are having those high statistics that was real down the other time? Obviously. Will you say it's part of Obviously, it? Obviously, yes. Yes, I will. Because currently there's a um, transition from um, the ancient way of feeding uh, to this Western type of feeding, and that is causing a lot of trouble. It's causing a lot of trouble. You all, you agree with me that um, um, medicine is moving from yes, so. curative yes. to preventive. preventive. Yes. yes. So now nutrition stands at the center. What you eat cannot help you a lot to prevent certain disease conditions. Okay, now let's talk about, let's be specific now. What are type of things? Okay. If, for example, if I'm not diabetic and I'm not, I don't want to be, what kind of food should I be eating? Before okay. we now go to someone who is already confirmed. Diabetic, okay. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Um, it will be all centered again on your lifestyle change. Mm -hmm. It might be total lifetime change. It could be lifetime modification. So, in essence, what should go on here is, um, you should be eating foods that are high in fiber, fruits, vegetables, okay? Mm -hmm. um, there's a notion that you should eat lots of fruits. That's not true. I'll explain that. You have to eat with the recommendation from WHO. Mm -hmm. That's three to five fruits and vegetables a day, which means you have to take one serving of fruit, two serving of fruit, three serving of fruit a day, and nothing more. Mm -hmm. This is one serving of fruit. Mm -hmm. This is a serving of fruit. Mm -hmm. So you don't go eating... And this is a serving of fruit. Exactly, a serving of fruit. You don't go eating... Um, um, six, seven bananas, because you have gone past the... Is it for day. someone who is non-diabetic? A non-diabetic, yes, non a non-diabetic. Because okay. I always talk about people eating combo, so it's wrong to eat in combo. They yes. eat plenty it, of fruits together. If it's going beyond what your caloric need for that day is. I see. Exactly. So it has to be within a set limit. Again, they also have to eat whole foods. Mm. Whole foods. Um, um, when it comes to the fat, it has to be a controlled quantity of fat. The carbohydrate content needs to be a controlled. Are you quantity. talking about balanced diet? Eh? Yes. But diet, balanced diet with uh, with modified proportion. Exactly. You know, I also want to um, um, make it clear again that balanced diet is actually a primary word. Mm -hmm. Okay. When we come to clinical, we talk about adequate diet. Mm -hmm. That is to say, not everybody um, needs to eat the same kind of diet. You need to eat based on your needs. Okay. Hmm. You need to eat based on your needs. So you need an expert to take proper assessment. Uh, before um, prescribing the kinds of food you okay. should eat. We are now going to something more critical. Yeah. The number of legs being amputated is so alarming. Um, what do you think is responsible for this? Uh, I would say it's this um, poor self-care. Hmm. Poor self-care. And, um, um, I, you know, when it comes to food care, most people neglect it. It's critical. Food care? Yes. Food care. People neglect it. Like it's critical for those who have diabetes to care for their food. Hmm. Okay, it, 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 it ranges or it, it, it starts from paying attention to changes on the leg. Hmm. 
Some mm. people have some of the danger signs on their feet, but they, they take it for granted. Take, for example, calluses. There's what is called calluses. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's what is called um, um, cracky um, soles of the foot. Some mm -hmm. of them have cracks. Mm -hmm. They don't do anything. Mm -hmm. Some of them have um, cuts under their legs, and mm -hmm. they just think it, they just take it for granted. Mm. Okay, some of them have um, discoloration. They take it for granted. Some mm. swelling, numbness, tingling sensation. Like I said, funny sensation. They take it for granted. O only when they report for proper foot care and examination to be done on their foot um, that they can be sure that they are heading for a better health, especially okay. foot, foot health. Now, let us go to treatment. Um, in your own practice or in your own view, what do you think is the best treatment for people who are diabetic, apart from the usual insulin stuff? Is okay. that the only treatment or there are other forms of treatment? Okay, yeah, I, would, I would also like to mention here that there are three basic uh, treatments for diabetes. Okay. One is diet, another one is diet and um, medications, another one is diet and insulin. Mm -hmm. But there's one that is central, which is diet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for a diabetic, if you don't get it right with your diet, you failed you've it. You've lost it. Yes, you've lost it. So for the diabetic um, patient, what we advise they do is they take foods that have low glycemic index. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll break it down. Foods that when you eat... Tony from FCT. Tony, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm just watching your program now. You Thank say you're talking about uh, diabetes. Thank you. If somebody, for example, your, your... Tony, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. If you, if you, if you take your weight, your weight, you decide to use the, the normal tape to measure your weight. Yes. Um, Normal state to measure it, and uh, your weight is more than more than forty. Yes. Your weight is more than forty for a male, more than forty for female, more than thirty-five. Is the person diabetic? He's talking about weight here. Okay, you, 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 the weight is not a is, is not an assessment for diabetes. You can't use that to assess whether somebody is diabetic or not. Hmm. It has to be the basic BMI. Yes, it has to be, um, it, you're just going to mention if somebody is overweight, normal, or underweight, mm -hmm. using the BMI um, index. index, yes. The Bessel um, um, Body Mass Index. Now, we were discussing about uh, treatment the other time. Yes. Do you believe, because we are now going to the nitty-gritty, because this is the program that tends to develop natural medicine, do you believe natural health has something to do with people who are diabetic? Of course, yes. I, 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 I stand to uh, believe that um, organic foods, which is natural, okay, can help to boost one's health. I stand with that. Like bitter leaf, people eating bitter leaf and yes, all these stuff, because very, I want you to mention those true. Okay, let me quickly um, talk about um, the foods for diabetics. Those that are diabetic, they need to eat foods that are low in glycemic index. Foods that when you eat will not boost your sugar level up quickly. They should eat such foods regularly. Regularly here does not mean excess. Again, they need to um, stay away from sweetened chocolate beverages. Sweetened mm. beverages, sweetened mm. chocolate beverages. Mm. They need to stay away from that. Mm. Uh, sweetened drinks, those ones that have been um, um, sweetened. Let's take, for example, your soft drinks. There's no need taking that because sugar level is already abnormally high. Hmm. Okay, there's no need taking um, syrups that are in liquid form because they are, they are, they are, they are, they are already sugar laden and they also boost your sugar level up. They well, need to avoid sweet. We are not things, going to end things. this uh, conversation today. We are going to continue in future because our time is fast running. But what I can assure you viewers at home who are watching this program is that, like I always say, diabetes is not a death sentence. It depends on how you manage it. And you know that diet is very key. Nutrition is very key. And uh, like, I, like we always say on this program, if you have been on a particular medication for diabetes and you feel that the situation is not improving, maybe you can turn to Mother Nature. Mother Nature has answers to some of these uh, problems that is uh, afflicting mankind. So you do well. Maybe at the end of the program, my number will soon be shown on the program so that maybe you have some other things you want to ask about this program. Um, and uh, my guest is going to be here again. Um, that is uh, Mr. Solomon Bram. Thank you for coming on the program. Yeah, it's a pleasure, I hope sir. if we invite you in the United future, we will oblige us. Oh, okay. It's Absolutely. a pleasure. I'll be available. You know? mm. So like I say, please don't think it is all over. Diabetes is not a death sentence. 
hepatitis C, B, C, D, and E, they are not death sentences. HIV is not a death sentence. Let Mother Nature help you because we are all from nature, because nature is our teacher. Hebways, the pathway to family wellness.